Hello and welcome back to Lewis the Woodworker. Today I'm going to show you how I make this plywood chair that only requires wooden joints. I used 18mm birch plywood as it's really nice and it's the kind of thing you use for furniture. I first made various designs of the chair that I wanted to make and then chose one and printed out templates for it. Once I had my templates cut out, I would stick them on a sheet of MDF and then cut them out with my track saw to take on the bandsaw. This project consists mainly of repeated cuts, that's why I used templates for this project, as that will allow me to make one template of each piece and then repeatedly flush cut them on the router table. I used quite a few machines to make this project and that includes a bandsaw, track saw and a random orbital sander. Using a bandsaw allows me to put a very small blade on it, meaning I can get really close to the line on the templates and then it's just a matter of doing some sanding. Using SketchUp it allows me to make these layout sheets which allows me to maximise how much wood I can get out of one sheet. I then drew the parts on a sheet of plywood and roughly cut them with a track saw and took them over to the bandsaw to finish off and get it as close to the line as I could. I then changed the blade on my bandsaw and I used a 3 TPI 3 quarter inch blade which allowed me to cut lots of pieces at once. Once I had all the parts roughly cut out, I would stick the templates to them and use my router table with a flush trim bit to cut them flush to the templates. I've made a video of this router table, so if you're interested in having a look at it and how I made it, there's a link on the top right hand corner of your screen. I used a half inch bit for all the outer edges and large inside edges. And then I used a quarter inch bit for all the joints as that made it a lot safer to use. I tilted my bandsaw table to 10 degrees which is the angle that the legs have and that allows the legs to sit flat against the floor and parallel to the seat. I then used my handheld router to cut out all the joints of the two sides of the chair as they were too cumbersome to use on my router table. If you're looking for a router this is a really good option as I've had it for a year and it's done me really really well and I've put it through its paces with some other projects that I have coming up. If you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and comment down below and also don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed it.